Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about natural products. And I've been trying to be more conscious of what I've been putting in my body and on my body. And because of that, I've been really incorporating more natural products into my daily routines. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to talk about whether the product was a hit or a miss, whether I would repurchase or not. So let's get started. The first product that I have really been enjoying is the Derma E Vitamin E Cream. This is their deep moisturizing formula, and this is cruelty-free, gluten-free, and it is natural and 100% vegan. And this product smells so good. I can't really put my finger on the smell, but it is so yummy. And I've used about half of this tub, and I really love it. I have psoriasis, which is super dry skin, and I find that when I when it's getting really bad, I put this on the dry skin patches. This is full of vitamin E, and I think it really helps to moisturize my skin and help the like dry skin to heal faster. So I've really been liking this total hit. Next up, I have another moisturizing product. This is the Body Oil Mist by J.R. Watkins. It is naturally pure and it says it is, let me see, packed with vitamin E and natural oils. It is one, and it has a 100% natural fragrance. Anyways, this is kind of like a dry oil and as you can see, or maybe you can't, I've used about half of this bottle. I do really like this product. It smells super yummy. It smells like coconut milk and honey, so it's really kind of comforting. I really like that about this. The downside to this product is that it is so messy. If you spray it onto your skin, it kind of gets all over the bathroom floor. So I would recommend spraying this product into your hands and then rubbing it into your skin, and that way it'll be a little less messy. This is one of those on the fence items. I like it because it does smell yummy and it does moisturize, but I don't like it because it's so messy. So this is sort of one of those products that is not a total hit, but not a miss either. So I do like it, but there are some downsides to this. Next up, I have a product that I mentioned in a recent empties video. It is the Kiss My Face Moisture Shave. This is the second bottle I've been using and this product is natural and cruelty free. It's paraben, phthalate, and SLS free, preservative free, no animal ingredients, and no animal testing. So basically this is like a shave lotion. It's very different from those foams. I really love it and I love that it smells like lavender. There are tons of different scents but this is my favorite and I will continue to repurchase this. It makes my legs so soft and smooth when I'm done shaving. Love, 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 total hit. Next up, I have a product that came in a recent Birch Box, and it is the Kula Sport Sunscreen SPF 50, and this is the Fresh Mango Scent. This is organic sun care plus plant protection. So basically, this is also cruelty-free and just 100% organic. So I really, really love this. First of all, it smells amazing. It smells like mango. And second of all, it is very nice. I have worn it on my face and on my body. I have not broken out from this, which is good because a lot of SPFs do break me out. And I really like this. I love that it's SPF 50 and it is so hard to find a natural sunscreen that is not awful for you and full of horrible chemicals. So I've really been loving this. It's a total hit. While we're along the lines of Birchbox, I have two other items that came in a Birchbox that are natural products. This is another Derma E product. It is the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Vitamin A Glycolic Scrub. And this is cruelty-free, paraben-free, and 100% vegan and natural. Okay, so this product is not the best. I hate to say that because I love Derma E products and I've really only had one bad experience this. This smells like like dish soap and not even the good kind that you know smells like lavender or gain this smells like straight up dish soap when I put it on my face I just feel like I'm washing the dishes I cannot stand it and it's more like a face wash versus an exfoliating scrub the beads are not very um, kind of grainy they're just barely there and I just don't really feel like it does much and I just really do not like this product. It is a total miss for me and I would not repurchase. And the other Birchbox item is the Well People Expressionist Mascara. And this mascara has a rubber bristle wand, kind of like the Benefit Their Real Mascara or the Maybelline Rocket. And I am wearing this on my lashes today. I feel like this is a very good natural mascara. 
and I really, really like it. It gives nice length and separation. It doesn't give a ton of crazy volume, but it is definitely a really good option if you're going all natural and you want a good mascara. Only warning with this is that it takes forever to dry, which is really great for building up your lashes, but if you sneeze or you bump it, it's gonna get on your face and you know on the top of your lid, so just be really careful with this. But I would say that this item is a total hit. I really do like it, and I would consider repurchasing it. So the next item is one that I have completely fallen in love with, so spoiler alert, it's a hit. This is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub with Argan Stem Cell and Tr Torella Growth Factor. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And this is for all skin types, and this product is so amazing. It's sort of a green kind of color. I'll put it on the back of my hand here. And it is really a coarse scrub. It is excellent for exfoliating. It kind of smells like herbal, so I really kind of like the smell, but it's a little different. But it is excellent for just really buffing away any dead skin and removing that and making your face feel so smooth. When I'm done using this, my face feels amazing. I only use it about one to two times a week because I do have sensitive skin, but I find that this does not irritate my skin. It makes it feel really amazing. And like the product says, it's for brightening, and I really do feel like it does that. So I really love this product. I definitely would be repurchasing. It's a total hit. Next up, I have the Pacifica Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes. And I have to say, I was suckered in by the packaging. Look how adorable the packaging is on this. And it has like a little front part that pops open to keep your wipes really wet and fresh. They smell amazing. I mean, truly, they smell so good, just like coconut water. And I really, really like that about these. And I love the packaging. The only downside is this product barely removes anything. I would not repurchase these if I, you know, wanted a face wipe that would really work. If you do not wear a ton of makeup and you just kind of want to refresh your skin, I feel like these would be a great option. But for me, the reason that I use face wipes is to remove the bulk of my makeup before I go in with my cleanser. So I really feel like these were a total disappointment. And I really wanted to love them because they smell amazing. The packaging is so beautiful, but they're just a total miss. So I would not recommend these, and I definitely will not be repurchasing. All right, so now we're going to get into the product that sort of led me into this natural product world. I had really no idea how horrible a lot of products were for you until I saw Shannon Sullivan on YouTube talking about natural deodorants. And... I really had no idea how awful regular deodorants were for you with the aluminum, and you can do your own research and everything, but I've been really trying to use aluminum-free deodorants, and I'll talk to, to you about the one that I've been loving the most, and it is the Schmitz Lavender and Sage Deodorant. This deodorant is very different from any deodorant that you've probably used before. It is in a pot, and it has like a little like scooper, and you kind of scoop some out, and it's sort of a paste, so it's definitely a learning curve. You have to get used to it, and you have to sort of, you know, just train yourself to use it. It's a little bit gross at applying because, again, you have to use your hands and, you know, rub it on your armpits, so that's kind of weird. But if you can get over that, this works so well. I definitely would recommend this, and this product is totally aluminum-free, propylene, glycol-free, paraben-free, and phthalate-free. And it definitely is very good at neutralizing like any sweat or odor. Um, I definitely really like this the most out of all the natural deodorants I've tried. It's a total hit. I cannot wait to try the, I think it's bergamot and lime scent. I really want to try that one next. But I've been really enjoying this lavender sage one and I'm getting really close to the end of this uh, little pot. So definitely a hit. Another natural deodorant that I've tried recently is the Kiss My Face Natural Active Deodorant. This is the cucumber and green tea scent and it is aluminum and paraben free. And again, I was super attracted to this because it's natural, it's aluminum free, and I really like anything with a cu cucumber and green tea scent. It really does smell amazing. And I feel like this product does a nice job at working. Um, I don't think that it works as well as the Schmitz deodorant, but I really do like that about this. The problem is it is super messy. The formula 
looks like a stick but as soon as it hits your skin and warms up it kind of melts down the side of this and gets super messy so I feel like this is one of those sort of gel products if it had the twist up and like the little like the gel like the little notches that it came out of I feel like this would work so much better it's really the packaging that I cannot stand on this it's super messy and I really don't like that but I feel like as a product it works well I just wish the packaging could be sort of fixed but I would recommend this but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing the Schmitz instead of this one. This next product I'm not going to spend a lot of time raving about because it was in a recent June favorites video but it is the Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel uh, Pore Perfecting Toner. This is 100% all natural. As I said in that video guys I cannot get enough of this. As you can see I've used quite a bit. I love this. Totally cleared up the texture on my face and any breakouts. Like if I have a breakout coming on, I use this and it is gone. And a new discovery I've made with this is I was searching how to get rid of my bug bites because I've had several on my legs and on my arms. And believe it or not, this popped up. Witch Hazel is a total uh, sort of uh, natural remedy for cup and clear bug bites. So. I have been using this and it has totally helped, so I'm kind of impressed that it works amazing as a toner and also for healing bug bites and it also said that you can use it on cuts, so I'm really glad that I have this product. It is 100% all natural, I would totally recommend, it is a total hit. Next up I have a product that I have been using for quite a while, it is the Burt's Bees Lip Balms and I have two here that I really love. I'm kind of straying away from the, the original peppermint one, it's just really strong. But recently I got the grapefruit version and it is, I guess, refreshing, it's hydrating and this is 100% natural. It doesn't leave any color on the skin because it's just clear, but it smells so good and it's really good at moisturizing your lips. I really, really like this product and I definitely have this in my bag all the time. I really love this. I think it's a hit. And I also, Burt's Bees also has ones that come with like a little tint. This is the Sweet Violet and it does sort of have a scent, like a sweet scent, but it has just a little, like the slightest color, so it just adds a little bit of color to your lips. It's nothing super intense, it's kind of like just a sheer little color, but this is 100% natural as well. I totally love these Burt's Bees Lip Balms and I definitely will be, will be repurchasing, they're a total hit. While we're talking about lip products, I'm going to be talking about the Bite Beauty Lip Pencils. I got this set close to Christmas time, but I really love these Bite Beauty Pencils. I'll pull one out here if I can get it. Um, and what these products don't have is they're without parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. And basically they're made with food grade ingredients that are healthy enough to eat. Not that I would actually eat them, but if you think about how much you're putting lip products on your lips and reapplying, you technically do sort of eat them. So these are very natural. And this one's in the shade Rhubarb, and it is super creamy, and it's just like a little crayon pencil. And it is just so pretty. I really like this. And they come in a ton of shades. This is one. I have one in pomegranate. I'll swatch next to it. It's a beautiful, bright, like red berry shade, perfect for the fall. I have this one in Sable, it's a beautiful like nude color, and I have another one here in Winterberry, and it is just again another beautiful pink color. I love these, I love how they're sort of pointed on the end so they're really easy to kind of draw the outline of your lips and really get in there. They're super creamy, and again they're natural, one of the few products that are pretty much natural in the beauty world as far as lip products go, especially at Sephora. Really love these, would highly recommend the entire Bite Beauty line, really like these. This last product is a recent addition to my sort of natural products collection. It is the Myers, Mrs. Myers Clean Day Hand Soap. It contains olive oil and aloe vera and it is, let's see here, full of plant derived ingredients, natural essential oils, aloe vera, glycerin and olive oil. It is free of parabens, phthalates, and a whole bunch of other things. So this is really good for you. And pretty much the reason that I got this is because I have been reading about how awful the Bath & Body Works hand soaps are for you and it kind of broke my heart because 
I really do love them and I have a ton of backups of those which I will be using up but then I'm going to start moving into using a lot more natural products especially hand soap when you think about or at least me how many times I wash my hands a day it's really important that what I'm putting on my skin is natural and um, basically this product smells amazing and that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with this it is the honeysuckle scent and guys it smells like a field of honeysuckle like flowers or plants it is so yummy I really like this and if you're in Target next time that's where I picked this up go to the Mrs. Meyer stuff and smell the honey honeysuckle scent you're gonna fall in love you're gonna leave with every product they own in this scent it is so good it's that good guys so I really like this definitely will be repurchasing even my fiance was like that hand soap you got is so good it smells like really good so I definitely really like this and I will be repurchasing and it's a total hit so check it out and it is just that good the last thing I wanted to mention is actually an app that I've been using and the app is called think dirty and basically when you open it you can scan products or type them in and you can find out you know how horrible a product is for you you know how many carcinogens they contain or how good the product is for you and I've been taking this and using it when I'm shopping just to kind of see which products are good which are bad you would be shocked at the horrible ingredients in the products that you've been using even sometimes when they're labeled natural or you know they're, they have the word organic on them so you just have to be very careful I will link the app below if you want to check it out it's totally free I've really been enjoying it and it's a really good way to find products new products they recommend to you that you can try that are natural and I just really have been loving it so those are all the natural products I've been trying lately I hope that you found ones that you want to try out and that you've enjoyed my video if you have please hit the thumbs up button and if you've not yet subscribed please do that and thanks for watching